Praise the Lord God, from whom all blessings flow. Uh, it's wonderful to be back uh, with the Northside family, Northside Church of Christ. I'm Al Jackson, co-minister of the Northside Church of Christ, Jacksonville, Florida, where Charlie McClendon is our senior minister. On behalf of the senior minister, uh, myself, the minister, and our elders, our deacons, uh, we say welcome, and we are back with you once again uh, to bring forth uh, a good message from the good word and tell a friend, tell a neighbor, uh, tell your network uh, that the truth is streaming live right now. We are here for our single adult ministry, uh, uh, fellowship, virtual uh, Bible talk, and we're glad to see those who are joining us. Thanks for joining us. Uh, uh, great to see all of you. Uh, continue to spread the word and tell others to join us this afternoon. Uh, we're going to have a good time. We just want to give you some encouragement to all of our singles, and we appreciate you. We appreciate your uh, faith in God and your work and your labor and your uh, what you mean to Christ, what you mean to us, what you mean to the church, and uh, it's just good to see our singles uh, coming together. Uh, we, this is our virtual Bible discussion for the singles. Uh, in our scriptures, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 7. Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 7. And our topic is three keys to finding clarity. Three keys to finding clarity. We uh, recognize that today in our world, we need some clarity. We need clarity. So if you need any clarity, if you know anyone that needs clarity in any way, uh, you know, need, uh, any, if you know anyone that needs a, uh, a foggy picture to become clear. Uh, share this word with them. Start your watch parties. Let everybody know. Uh, please share. Uh, let, let everyone know that the truth is streaming live right now. Uh, let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer. And then uh, as we're doing that, uh, go over into your Bibles in Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 7, uh, and pray with us at this time. Let us Pray to the master of heaven. Let us pray. Great Father in, in glory, we honor you. We praise your matchless name. We can't thank you enough for who you are and for all that you do. We pray, dear God, that your word will have free course as we seek clarity in Christ Jesus, as we seek to glorify your name. We love you. We thank you for loving us, dear God. We pray for all the singles, dear master, um, those uh, who are working hard, who are doing great things, and uh, we are so honored to have Jesus Christ, uh, the greatest uh, man who ever lived, the greatest uh, uh, individual in the history of all mankind, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who was also a single man. Uh, as our master and our King and our Lord, uh, we are so glad to have examples of singles in your word, uh, like the Apostle Paul uh, and like many others who uh, provided the powerful example, uh, Ruth, and many others who provided a powerful example of how to live for the Lord uh, in difficult times. We honor you. We pray that you will bless the single adult ministry at the Northside Church of Christ. Help us to keep working together, sticking together, uh, sending out uh, texts and, and communication to one another uh, to encourage each other in the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, glad to have you with us this afternoon. Uh, let's continue to encourage each other, spread the word to one another, uh, check on one another. And we are so grateful. My wife and I lead the single ministry at the Northside Congregation. We appreciate our singles. We let we want to remind you and let you know that we're here for you. We love you. We thank God for you and your talents and what you bring to the table in serving the Lord of heaven. And uh, if you're a part of Northside's congregation, you know uh, how we feel about our singles and the activities we do and the fellowships that we're having, that we have, and um, how we're used to and accustomed to coming together. So right now we're not able to uh, during this season, um, but with the help of the Lord, we will be able to come back together uh, uh, when the Lord says so. But in this meantime, Let's, con let's continue to send out words of encouragement to contact one another. And I'm seeing that going on in our singles ministry. So we thank you and let's continue to do that. 
And uh, we want to give you some encouraging words from God's holy and divine scriptures. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 7, three keys to finding clarity. We live in a time uh, of confusion. Uh, we live in a time where people are confused uh, with their health, um, with this, uh, um, you know, people had problems uh, before this uh, particular global pandemic came about, but then uh, with the with the intrusion of COVID nineteen, it just uh, introduced a total uh, explosion of more and more problems, and uh, but and problems in people's health, problems with finances, problems uh, with uh, uh, people's uh, families, and problems in peace. Many uh, laid off their jobs. Uh, many uh, who are not able to go to school uh, like they would uh, like to, uh, and many folks are having problems. Uh, so, so yes, thank you. If you're with us, uh, let us know you're present. Check in and let us know you're with us. Thank you for everyone who's on. But in this life, in this time, in this difficult season where there are so many confusing factors, there is a source where we can find some clarity and we go to the word of God to find clarity during this time of confusion. So we want to give you three uh, powerful quick keys uh, to help you find clarity. Proverbs chapter three, uh, verses five through seven. The word of God says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. Friends, at this time, don't lean on CNN's understanding. Don't lean on Fox News' understanding. Don't lean on CBS or or the uh, uh, Huffington Post or the New York Times or or, or or don't lean on any of those folks' understanding. And we we you know you can read the, their the news, you can watch the news. There's nothing wrong with watching the news, but let's make sure when that now there's a difference between watching something and leaning on something. The Bible tells us don't lean on them, don't lean on yourself. Don't lean on your own understanding. Don't lean on man's understanding. But the Bible tells us, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and lean not unto your own understanding. So singles, don't lean on your own understanding. Don't lean on uh, America's understanding. Don't lean on any one person, any physical world understanding, carnal understanding. Lean on the Lord. Lean on gives the idea of putting all your weight on something. It gives the idea of trusting in it for, uh, for, for, uh, for support. Uh, I'm sitting in this, uh, this chair right here, this chair. Uh, I'm sitting in this chair. Uh, I sat down in this chair because I believed that this chair could support me. I'm leaning on it. I'm putting all my weight on it. Uh, that's a physical thing, but don't put your spiritual weight on anyone or anything except the Lord. If you put all your weight and your focus upon what's going on right now, uh, friends, you, you will we'll be stressed out. We will uh, lose hope. We'll lose faith. We'll lose uh, in this life. We should uh, glance at your problems, but focus on Jesus. Okay, I better back that thing up and say that again. Glance at your problems, but focus on we can uh, glance at certain things, uh, but we need to focus on Jesus the Christ. Only focus on the Lord Jesus. We need to make sure that we only focus on him. So trust in the Lord. That's the focus. That's where we lean on. That's where we put all our weight on. On the Lord and lean not unto your own understanding. We're going to have opinions. We're going to have thoughts. We're going to have uh, observations of our own. But every time when you're tempted to, to trust in your own observations that are negative, that are negative, which we all have observations sometimes that are negative, don't trust in it. Don't, don't focus on those problems. Glance at those problems, but focus on the Lord. That, that's, I'm giving, giving you some hashtag information here. Uh, hashtag glance at your problems Hashtag focus on Jesus Fo Hashtag focus on Jesus Hashtag glance at your problems uh, And I say that to say uh, Glancing I'm not saying totally ignore 
you know, uh, all of the health regulations. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying to totally ignore uh, social distancing, washing your hands. I'm not saying that. Glance at those things. The, you know, wash your hands, practice social distancing, uh, do all the things that you should do, that we should do uh, to stay as safe as you can, stay at home as much as you can, and and be clean and be smart and uh, use your God-given uh, God given intelligence, uh, gl but don't focus on that. Glance at that, but focus on Jesus. Hebrews 12, verse 1 and 2, the Hebrew writer uh, said, uh, uh, you know, seeing as we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus. That's, that's where you focus looking unto Jesus, which is the author and finisher of our faith. So glance at the problems of life, but focus on Jesus Christ even right now. So if we want to find clarity, uh, if we want to find clarity, uh, we got some. Key, we have some keys here to find clarity. Proverbs 3, 5 through 7, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding, uh, single Christians. And this is for everyone, but this uh, particular uh, message today is for the singles. And as I said, we appreciate our singles. We love our singles. We uh, send out love um, to you uh, on behalf of the leadership of the Northside Church of Christ. You know, if you're involved in the singles ministry at Northside, you know that we have love for you and we do lots of activities. But right now, we're not able to do the activities that we're accustomed to doing and meeting and gathering like we're accustomed to gathering. Uh, but at this time, we still want to remind you, we still have to focus on Jesus. We still have to find clarity in this changing world from the word of God. OK, so there are three keys that we're going to talk about to finding clarity. And we want to uh, encourage you, don't lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and watch this. He shall direct your paths. He shall direct your paths. Don't let your uh, don't let your boyfriend direct your paths. Don't let your girlfriend direct your paths. Don't let partying out direct your paths. Don't let uh, uh, the the world direct your paths. Don't let uh, drugs and alcohol and 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 uh, wicked sinful people. Don't let them direct your paths. The Lord Himself. He needs to be the one to direct your paths. But we have to push everybody else to the side and let him direct our paths. That's our actions. That's our mindset. That's our focus. So then we can have clarity. Then we can see clearly if we let the Lord direct our paths. Just an example from the word, 2 Chronicles chapter 20. 2 Chronicles chapter 20. This is a powerful scripture that uh, helps us uh, to direct uh, our paths. Uh, so Second Chronicles chapter 20. Uh, this is an, a, this is a scripture uh, that teaches us about um, that teaches us about finding clarity. This is a moment of confusion. This is uh, King Jehoshaphat. He was a, a godly man. He was a godly king. Uh, but he was facing some uh, incredible problems. Uh, he he was under attack from the enemy, from enemy forces. Ammonites, um, uh, Moabites were were were, were attacking God's people, and and you can read all the way through Second Chronicles chapter twenty uh, later on. But I'm just giving you some highlights. Uh, there were Ammonites, Moabites attacking God's people, attacking King Jehoshaphat, and he didn't know what to do. His people, uh, he was not ready for this attack. They were not prepared. This was a sneak attack. This was a covert, uh, malicious sneak attack on the people of God when the Moabites and the Ammonites attacked God's people. Now, now look at what uh, um, Jehoshaphat's belief and thought was while they were being attacked. I'm coming to clarity, though. We're coming to three keys to finding clarity. Second Chronicles 20 and verse uh, number 12, they're praying. And Jehoshaphat says, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no might against this great company that comes against us. This is where we are right now. We're being attacked with COVID-19. We're being attacked with coronavirus. Uh, doesn't it feel like you got attacked, a sneak attack, a covert 
uh, malicious uh, operative that has attacked you and you weren't ready for it. That's, that's how I feel. Uh, we were not ready for this. But I want I want to encourage us to reach out to the one who was ready, who is ready. OK, so he says we weren't ready for this great company that cometh against us. Neither know we what to do, but our eyes are upon you. What do we what do you do when you don't know what to do? That's what we're going to talk about. Three keys to finding clarity. Uh, you may not know what to do uh, with this uh, during this time with COVID-19 uh, and just put in the chat. Uh, something that you may something that uh, you're dealing with and you don't know what to do, uh, whether it's health, whether it's finances, whether it's your emotions, um, whether it's uh, grief, whether it's family problems. Uh, just put something in the chat and we'll pray for you uh, that God will grant clarity uh, during this time of confusion. He's able. Key number one to finding clarity. Key number one. To finding clarity, Jehoshaphat, God's people, sneak attack uh, by they were being attacked by enemy forces. Look at the first key to finding clarity. I think we're all dealing with some things where we don't have ultimate clarity on what to do. I want to tell you, when you're going through a situation where you don't know what to do, that's when the Lord uh, can shine through and come through for you and come through for me. So this is a time to be excited. Uh, in the times where it seems most confusing, those are the times where our Lord will come through for his people. I guarantee you, if you serve him, if you're faithful, you do what he says. If you honor him, glorify his name. I want to remind you. That he's going to come through. Number one, Second Chronicles 20, verse 3, Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord. That's number one. The first key to find clarity, seek the Lord, S-E-E-K, seek the Lord. Uh, when you're looking for clarity in your family relationships, clarity in uh, your, with health problems, clarity with financial struggles, uh, clarity with just a peace of mind of going, being able to go to the store and back or go to the gas station and back or, 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 or whatever's going on. Seek the Lord. He's working it out on our behalf. That's correct. He's working it out on our behalf. Number one, seek the Lord. We need to seek him. We need to seek him. Um, you know, the devil says, seek, uh, seek worldly experts. The devil says, seek some drugs. The devil says, seek a girlfriend, a boyfriend, and invite them over to the house uh, or to your apartment for a few weeks, you know, so you can, you know, so you can quarantine uh, uh, Netflix and chill. You know, the devil says, seek depression, seek anger, seek resentment. Uh, I heard a story that now during this coronavirus uh, pandemic, uh, many uh, stores that sell guns, you know, they're selling out of guns. People are buying guns. Well, you can't shoot the coronavirus. What, you, you know, are, why are we trusting in in guns? Uh, 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 thank you. Some some are saying feeling uh, depression and feeling alone. Uh, that is a that is something that many people uh, are dealing with during this time. Or uh, and some people even in big families, you can still. Uh, be alone or uh, feel feel alone. Some who are live by themselves may feel alone. Some who married may feel alone. Some who are single may feel alone. Uh, some who are younger, some who are older. Uh, it's possible uh, for anyone. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you for sharing so much. We're praying for you. We will pray for you. Uh, so seek the Lord, number one. Seek him. Look at how Josephat uh, sought the Lord, Second Chronicles 20. And you need to read this whole chapter because it's an amazing chapter about how God Almighty comes through for his people. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 3. And Josephat feared and set himself uh, to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord, even out of all the cities. Uh, they came to seek the Lord. Now everyone is seeking the Lord in the text. But guess what is happening? Uh, I wouldn't wish this uh, coronavirus on anyone. I would not wish it on anyone. But uh, I am saying, I, I will say that there have been some positive things that have happened 
in the minds and hearts of people during this uh, pandemic. Uh, I pray for all those who are going through it. Pray for those who are sick. I wouldn't. I just pray that it, it will be uh, we'll be through this as soon as the Lord allows. But even in the midst of this struggle, I believe our God is still able and more people, I believe, are seeking after the Lord. Many are saying, hey, he's got the whole world in his hands. You're absolutely right. These folks during this uh, during this calamity, during this disaster in Second Chronicles, they all said they all stopped what they were doing and came to seek the Lord. Isn't that what we should do? We should seek him in prayer. And I said on another uh, broadcast a few days ago about calling the Lord uh, who he is to you and your prayers. Uh, prayer is not just about asking for what you want. Prayer is uh, in many cases about reporting for duty and glorifying the mighty name of God. Look at uh, the prayer as he's seeking the Lord, as he's seeking the Lord. So seek the Lord. Stop. What, in other words, stop what you're doing and spend time with God. Now, there I think we should have a special time every day to spend time with God, have us make make time to spend time with God. You know what? I've been driving, driving my car, driving, handling business, uh, being careful, uh, but still driving. And I just saw the, 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 uh, you know, since gas is so cheap, I feel I've been filling up, hadn't been thinking about the gas very much, but just today the, the light came on and said, Hey, you're about to run out of gas. I was in a hurry, but guess what? I stopped and I did. I stopped and got some more gas. So because I know no matter how busy you are, no matter how much of uh, how much you're in a hurry, if you don't stop and refuel, if you don't stop and refuel, you will run out of fuel at a time and a place that's not convenient. And it will cause you a lot more trouble than you would have been gone through by just stopping at a, a gas station and refueling. Friends, I believe one of the reasons that God allowed this to happen is that he wanted us to refuel. You know, he wants us to refuel. Hashtag, it's time to refuel. It's time to refuel. I believe we all have been slowed down uh, from the sporting activities, from restaurants, uh, in order to refuel. I believe we've been slowed down uh, miraculously from concerts, from plays, and from uh, going to uh, the, the, you know, going shopping and traveling from city to city so that we would make time to refuel. I believe we have been hindered uh, from many of the hobbies that we have, the movies, uh, you know, well, we had trips planned for the youth. Um, you know, we had activities planned for the married couples. We had activities planned for the singles. Uh, and we have been we've been we have been stopped from coming together. And I believe what one thing the Lord wants is that he wants us to refuel. But just take this time to refuel. And I believe he will bless us to get back on the road again. But we need to take time to refuel. We refuel and we seek God. We seek God. Seek after him. Uh, that's number one. Seek the Lord. Uh, this is keys uh, to uh, gaining clarity. Okay. Three keys to finding clarity. Number one, seek the Lord. Okay. Uh, number two, uh, say out loud who he is. Okay. Number two, I should say, say who he is to you. Say who he is to you. That's right. We need, it's time to refuel. Uh, refueling leads to blessings. That's right. We should say who he is to you. That's point number two. Three keys to uh, clarity. Say who he is to you. Look at what uh, Joseph at says in this prayer. Second Chronicles 20 and verse number seven uh, is phrased in their, their way of speaking in their vernacular as if it's a question, but it's really a declaration. He's not asking per se, but he is declaring who God is. Number, number one, seek the Lord. Number two, say out loud who God is to you. Say it in your prayer. Say it in your 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 um, your private time, uh, your war room time. Uh, we, we're having some war room times right now in prayer, talking to God. We're having some war. Say out loud who God is to you. Look at Second Chronicles 20, 
verse 6 and following, it goes all the way down uh, 6 through uh, verse number 12. We, we're not going to read all of that, but look at who Jehoshaphat and God's people, look at who they say he is to them. Number 6, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 6, he says, you are the God. Aren't you the God of heaven? You are. He said, don't you rule over the kings of the world? You, you, you do. He said, isn't, in, isn't there might and power in your hand? There is. Isn't it, isn't it uh, true that none can withstand you, God? That's true. See, he's rehearsing. He's saying who God is to him. Now, that's who God is to Jehoshaphat. But I want to ask today, who is he to you? Put it in the chat. Uh, let us know who is God to you. To me, he's my best friend. To me, he is my savior. He is actually my rescuer. The Lord rescued me from condemnation and from destruction. The Lord rescued Al Jackson from Al Jackson. I didn't need to be rescued from y'all. I didn't need to be. I did not need to be rescued from people. Uh, but he rescued me from me. He rescued me from the devil and he rescued me from me. Who is he to you? He's my savior. He's my best friend. He's my uh, deliverer. Uh, uh, we, we, I should hear some people. Thank you. He is the love of your life. That's right. He is. He is. Uh, Jehoshaphat says he is the God of heaven. He rules over everything. No one can withstand him. That's right. He's your, your found, my foundation. That's right. Who is God to you? I want to know. Uh, uh, thank you. He's my alpha and omega. Thank you. He is my foundation. He is uh, the ruler over the entire universe. Uh, Jehoshaphat says, you know, don't you, don't you rule over the kingdoms of the entire world? That's right. He is your friend. He is your your safe place. He is our savior. That's right. Now he says, uh, uh, look at Second Chronicles 20 and verse number six. That's right. He is uh, our strength. That's right. He's your all in all. He says in verse number eight, that, Lord, didn't you build us a house for your people? He is the greatest resource. That's right. He is our everything. You need to rehearse. You need to say who he is to you. That's right. He is my all in all. He's my everything that I need. He's everything that you need. Absolutely. The only father. He is the light in the darkness. That's right. That's who he is. So number one, seek the Lord. Number two, say out loud who he is to you. At some point in time, you need to say it. Some point in time, you need to say it. I wanted to marry my wife, and and uh, on May third, nineteen ninety seven, I had to say it. I had to tell folks in front of a whole crowd. Look uh, at the wedding. At the wedding, do you take this woman? I do. We need to say it. If you want to serve God, you need to say something. If you want to help save some souls, you need to say something on your your platform, your social media. Some point in time, let the world know that you serve Jesus Christ. Let the world know you serve Jesus. Say out loud who he is to you, single folks, to our single brothers and sisters. Say who he is to you. He needs to be your father. He, now I know he's everybody. I know he's the father to all the children of God. But but you need to have that personal, close, tight relationship with him. You need to say who he is to you. That's what Jehoshaphat did, uh, uh, and that that that's what he did. Now, Second Chronicles twenty, uh, we've looked at seeking the Lord. We've looked at saying out loud who he is to you. We're talking. We're trying to find three keys. To finding clarity here. Number three, stand on the word. Stand on his word. If you want to find clarity in this world of confusion, don't stand on your paycheck. Don't stand on uh, your 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 stimulus check because uh, uh, some folks have already gotten rid of that. Uh, that's right. He's a way maker, a miracle worker. He's a promise keeper. He is. You got to say it. You got to say it. That's right. So after seeking the Lord, after saying who he is to you, number three, stand on his word. You want to find three keys to finding clarity? Stand on his word. Now, when you stand on his word, 
it in the physical world it looks one way but when you're standing on his word you know the reality is something different let me show you what we're talking about here and like i said you got to read all the entirety of second chronicles chapter 20 to get this we're just hitting the highlights so throughout this week until we come back together again next saturday uh, for another installment for the singles ministry, you need to read through this chapter. Read chapter 18, 19, and 20 of Second Chronicles. Oh my goodness, it'll bless your life, bless your spirit. Uh, but, but just to give you the highlights, Jehoshaphat, God's people being attacked by the enemy. Uh, they, they were in a time of confusion. They were attacked by the enemy, just like we've been attacked by the coronavirus and by you know, all the things that come with it, the health crisis, the financial crisis, the uh, 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 attack on our peace, the attack on our, our way of life. But uh, uh, Jehoshaphat shows us he sought the Lord. We should seek the Lord. He said out loud who God is to him. We should say out loud who God is to us. And number three, he stood on the word. We should stand on the word. Look at how he stood on the word. Second Chronicles 20, God sent uh, in verse number 13 through verse 16, God sent the man of God. God sent a prophet to teach God's people, to teach God's people that uh, a battle plan of how they could defeat their enemy. And that battle plan was different than a physical battle plan. No uh, general in any army would have commanded them to do what God's man commanded them to do. He commanded them, and we got to go through the chapter. He commanded them to go out to the battlefield, the enemies are coming, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the, who are warlike nations. They're coming. He commanded them to go to the battleground with no weapons and stand in one place and praise the Lord. That's what he told them to do. You have an enemy that's coming with all kinds of weapons. He tell, Ammonites and Moabites, he tells God's people to come to the place of battle but don't take any weapons. As a matter of fact, he said in 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 17, you shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still, and seek the salvation of the Lord, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. So after seeking the Lord, after saying out loud who God is, and then after standing on the word, they have to go out there in the battleground uh, place and stand still and praise God. Wait a minute. You know, I could just see Jehoshaphat talking to the man of God, Jehaziel. Jehaziel was the uh, the prophet, the preacher, the speaker, the mouthpiece for God. And he was telling them what to do. And they were saying, wait a minute, that's not going to work. Isn't that how we act sometimes? God's word tells us what to do. And we say, oh, no, I can't do that. You know, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Stand on his word. He tells them, go out to the battlefield, praise God, sing praises to him, honor him, thank him, glorify his name. So they decide to follow God's commands to, every, to all of our singles. Follow God's commands. Don't worry about what the world is doing. Don't worry about what the devil is trying to do. Don't lose your hope. Don't lose your faith. Sometimes you're going to be up. Sometimes you're going to be down. Uh, it's, it's, you may be sad for a time. You may be depressed. You may be going through some things emotionally. That is natural. But recognize Psalm 30 verse 5. Weeping men do it for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Keep looking for your joy in the morning. Uh, keep holding on. So they go out to the battlefield, no weapons, and they sing praises to God as the man of God has commanded. Saints, Christians, members of the Lord's church, Northside family, listen to the leadership. Listen to the leadership of the Lord's church. I know that's old school. I know that's uh, uh, that doesn't sound uh, up to date. It doesn't sound current. It doesn't sound contemporary, but it's still true. Follow the leadership that God has provided in the church. Leadership is not perfect. Membership is not perfect. But God works through his mouthpieces, his leaders, uh, his, his ministers, evangelists, his elders, uh, his deacons. God is working through the leadership to teach the people. That's why we're coming to you. Facebook Live, YouTube Live, uh, our YouTube channel, uh, our website, eblast.com. 
Uh, we're, we're Sunday morning worship, Sunday morning Bible study, Wednesday night Bible study. Uh, we are trying everything that we can uh, to. We're still talking to folks by phone. We're still counseling uh, God, through God's help. We're still saving souls and helping souls to stay saved. Uh, my friends, uh, keep on. Uh, a whole joy does come in the morning. That's right. Uh, joy does come in the morning. Keep on serving God. Keep on doing the will of God. They go out to the battle, the place of battle. They don't have any weapons. Isn't that something? My friends, walk by faith and not by sight. Remember the scripture we used at the beginning? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Uh, uh, the, the world will say, hey, you got your stimulus check. You got your money from the government. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let's go. Well, you know, take care of your family. But you still we still need to give bountifully to God. Amen. We need to pray and worship is prayer. Worship is singing and worship uh, um, Sunday, corporate worship, prayer, singing the Lord's Supper, hearing the word of God being preached and giving financially as God has prospered us. Uh, it's still in the Bible. Uh, don't let the world turn you away from obeying God. So after the man of God, after they have, uh, they have, they were seeking God, after they said out loud who God is to, to them, they stood on the word. We should stand on the word. That's right. God should come first before anything. Second Chronicles 20, as we're closing, Second Chronicles 20 and verse 22, and they began to sing. And to praise, they, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 22. You need to read this whole chapter. When they began to sing and to praise, they're at the battleground with no weapons. The enemy's at the battleground with weapons. The Moabites, Ammonites, they have, they have weapons. It, the Judah, no weapons on the same battlefield. But God said, don't fight. The Lord will fight for you. My friends, the Lord will fight for you. The Lord will fight for me. When we stop fighting for ourselves, when we stop trying to deliver ourselves our way, and we stop trying to handle spiritual problems in a carnal way, the Lord will fight for us. You can't fix spiritual problems with a carnal solution. But I mean, I'm giving you hashtagable information here. You need to share. You can't fix spiritual problems with a carnal solution. Uh, we the only way our spiritual issues can be correct is through spiritual solutions by seeking God, saying out loud who he is and standing on his word. That's how we can find those are three keys to finding clarity. There are many more. But second Chronicles 20 and verse 22, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the enemies, the children of Ammon. Moab, Mount Seir, which came against Judah and they were defeated. They were smitten. Uh, then 23, the enemy started fighting one another. The enemy started fighting one another. That's right. Check out, read second Chronicles chapter 18, 19 and 20, uh, because the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. Remember that the battle against coronavirus is not my battle. That's why I, I'm not worried. I'm going to, you know, as I said, I'm going to practice social distancing. I'm going to wear, I've been wearing my mask. I've been wearing my gloves when I go out. Hey, I'm going to be careful, but this battle is not mine. It's the Lord's. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. That battle uh, with the enemy, it's not yours. It's the Lord's. Obey the Lord, and he'll fight the battle for you. The end, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 24. When Judah came to the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, looked to see the enemy, and behold, there were dead bodies falling to the earth. And none escaped. The enemy, the Lord killed all of their enemies. The Lord killed all of their coronaviruses. The Lord killed them all. I'll, I'll drink to that. The Lord killed the enemies. And his people didn't even have to fight. Verse 25, and when Jehoshaphat and his people came away to take the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and jewels and precious jewels, which they stripped off for themselves. And they were more than they could carry away. And they were three days 
in gathering of the spoils, it was so much. God fought the enemy. God fought the battle. They went out where God said. They stood on his word. They listened to the man of God. They listened to the man that God sent. That's right. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. That, amen. Amen. Uh, no weapon formed against God's people shall prosper. My friends, seek the Lord. Say out loud who he is to you and stand on his word and he will defeat your enemies. He will defeat every weapon that comes up against you. He didn't say the weapon wouldn't be formed, but he said that no weapon formed will be able to prosper as long as we seek him. Singles, you have so much power. You have so much. Uh, you are so blessed by God. We all, we all Christians are blessed by God. But even in the situation you're in, you are blessed. Some people who are married want to be single. Some people who are single want to be married. Be, you are blessed right now where you are. Let God handle the rest of all that. Be thankful where you are and serve him. Keep him first and he will strengthen you. <laughs> That's right. I, I, you, you keep on. We, we'll drink, drink to that. Keep on letting the Lord bless you. Keep following him. Keep studying his word. Those are just three keys to finding clarity in the time of confusion. We hope that you're finding some clarity from the word that's been presented. Uh, um, uh, recognizing that being single is a gift. Recognizing that being in the situation you're in, God is working things out to get the glory. And we uh, want to remind you, we love you from the Northside Church of Christ, from the leadership, the Lord of heaven wants to save you if you're not a christian he wants to bless you uh if you are th out there if you're watching if you're tuning in um you know we 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 would love to help you we love to serve you in the in the church of christ you can come to christ by hearing the death burial and resurrection of christ believe it with all your heart repent of your sins confess jesus to be god's son and be baptized for the remission of your sins contact us call us at the north side church of christ uh, uh, 904 765 9830 or email us um, at the Northside Church of Christ, Jacks NSCOC at bellsouth.net, or you can send a message on the chat, or you can uh, go to our uh, website, nscocjax.com. Um, you know, there are many ways to reach us. We're at 4736 Avenue B. Uh, and we want to serve you. We want to pray for you. We want to help you according to God's holy and divine will. Uh, we are here for you. We love you. Uh, on behalf of the leadership of the Northside Congregation, uh, we want to continue to pray for you. We have uh, uh, join us tomorrow, Sunday, 8 a.m. for mass worship. Uh, uh, for mass worship, join us uh, 8 a.m. Please uh, tune in virtually. Through Facebook Live, YouTube Live, uh, 8 a.m. Northside Church of Christ. Um, uh, also, and, and uh, okay, good. I see that you left a message. Good. I'll get back with you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Stephanie. She wants four copies of the book. We want to uh, talk with you. We'll give you a call. Thank you so much. Uh, and we're inviting everyone to join us virtually uh, Sunday morning, worship Northside Church of Christ, Facebook Live. Uh, YouTube live at 8 a.m. 10 a.m. will be our Bible study. And you're going to enjoy this adult class Bible study at 10 a.m. Facebook live, YouTube live. And then 11 a.m. will be our Bible study for early learning uh, all the way through high school uh, at 11 a.m. Sunday morning. Now that will be on Zoom. So we need you to email us. And um, if you don't have the info, uh, email us, call us, text us, send a message in the chat. We want to contact you and get you on the list uh, for you know all the classes, all the Bible classes, youth Bible classes, high school, middle school, uh, boys, girls, uh, elementary, early learning. We want to include you in the 11 a.m. Bible study Sunday morning from the Northside Church of Christ. We want to help you uh, perform all the five acts of worship uh, on Sunday. Join us and you will enjoy yourself. Please pray 
uh, for uh, Sister uh, Liz Guillotine, Sister Elizabeth. Uh, she asked for prayers regarding bereavement for herself and her family. Keep her in your prayers. Uh, also, Angela Simmons asked for prayers uh, for her family. And we know that there are many others that we uh, may not call by name, uh, but we love you. And on behalf of the leadership, uh, we're still reaching out. Uh, and we, we're glad that you enjoy the lessons and your messages in the chat, your questions, your prayer requests. The leaders, we get together uh, and we pray. We pray for those who request prayers. And we want to see you join us tomorrow, Sunday, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 11 a.m. The church secretaries are at the building uh, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m., to 4 30 p.m. for you to pick up your communion and to uh, drop off your contribution or you can um, give your contribution uh, through the website nscocjacks.com uh, under the paypal uh, feature uh, on the website or you can also cash app it uh, under uh, the uh, cash app uh, you can dollar sign nscocjaxfl uh, on Cash App for the Northside Church of Christ. May, and and uh, also we're having prayer requests. Uh, Sister Jackie has asked for prayers for Javika and uh, many others. We are praying for all of you. We love you. Keep tuning in. Join us next Saturday at 3 p.m. Next Saturday at 3 p.m. for the Singles uh, Ministry uh, Virtual Bible Talk. Uh, whatever questions you have, uh, please let us know. Um, um, and, and so, uh, we love to work with you and we have those two, I'm um, seeing here from our, uh, media folks, media team, we know we have two payment app options for those who like to send contributions, offerings, or donations online. And you can look at the chat and it will give you the details. Uh, we want to help you serve you. We want to work together during this time to please the almighty God. We love you from the North Side, from the North Side Church of Christ leadership. Let us pray. God, we honor you. We thank you for your word. Thank you uh, that we have some keys to receive clarity during this time. Thank you that we can seek you. Thank you that we can um, that we can say out loud who you are. That you are our deliverer. You are our strength. You are our joy, our power, our our King, and our glorious Redeemer. We thank you that we can stand on your word, which is able to save our souls. We pray for all those who requested prayers. Help us to continue to seek you. We pray for all of our singles. Thank you for their faith. Thank you for the, the uh, amazing blessings you have in store for them. Thank you, dear God. Help us to have faith and to glorify your name, serving the Lord together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.